Hello, and welcome back to my workshop. Okay. So, G-code is in, and if you look at this little window here, um, it shows that, well actually what I normally do, after, after, after putting the uh, G-code in, and knowing everything is right there, I press Regen. Okay, so we've regen the toolpath now, uh, and you can see now the crosshairs, which indicates the centre of the tool, in relation to our table, the director table, and the work there is all all lined up nicely. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is uh, this is the feed rate, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do because this is set up at 100% feed rate, what I normally do I start a program um, at somewhere less than 50%. So to do that is uh, up and down arrows here. You just click away. I'll start about 30% until I'm sure that everything's okay because I've still got a chance to you know hit the e-stop if uh, things aren't quite going right. Um, so now what we'll do is I'm going to set my start my spindle up and set the correct speed which is 24,000 rpm uh, for this because it's such a fine cut-in area that point you need to cut the material and evacuate it out the way. So that's why you need it spinning very, very, very fast. Because otherwise, we're going to be here all night. write in and ask me how noisy these machines operate well this is my workshop it's 100 square meters in Tasmania it's a very very quiet neighborhood uh, we're on about uh, seven or eight acres here and I'll just take you inside bear in mind this is a metal shed so it does echo a bit in here Okay, so I'm I'm stood what eight ten meters away from the machine that's over the, there in the workshop, and I can still talk and hold a conversation with you guys very easily. So we're coming into the machine now, and there it is working, cutting that coin. Obviously, as we get closer to it. It gets a little more noisier, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm stood a meter away from the machine and I can still hold a conversation very easily. Um, so there's Mac 3, there's the G-code, it's already gone through 27,000 lines of code already, it's been operating 16 and a half minutes, and you can see this is the DROs that are running, the digital readouts, Excuse me, and we're running at forty percent. So that's uh, the screen that you can see. Thank you. 
into this program now. And we're about a third of the way. You can just reveal that uh, it's revealing that that is Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> so we're about a third of the way into the um, into the program now and it's uh, What's that? 120,000 lines of code. So you can actually make out that it is Abraham Lincoln. Okay, now we're exactly halfway into the G-code. You can tell by this slider here, that it's halfway down. So we're halfway through the G-code. 203,000 lines of code, and it's taken an hour and 45 minutes. And this is how far we've got. For those of you who have been asking about the uh, little mini mill, well, there she is there, in all her glory. Um, I'm actually waiting for Eddie in China to send me a couple more drivers. Um, I dropped one and bust it. Um, so, yeah, he sent me one through, I think, by the end of the week. Uh, hopefully I shall have a video of putting the electronic package together and um, even putting in NC Studio because this one is running on NC Studio into this uh, older XP computer or computer running XP and uh, I think by the end of the week I should be able to put the driver in and get all this up and running and um, finish off that episode and show it machining some uh, some things and of course this will be this really uh, you know it, it would make that coin in steel um, if I wanted to uh, but that's the idea of a, of a more sturdier mill to this now hopefully it's only got about another hour and or maybe an hour and ten minutes to run Right up. So that's another project.
done for me. I'll finish this up a little bit. I'll get a little bit of brass on and clean the outside up. I uh, was in a hurry to, to finish it so I can um, upload this video. And uh, I used I used 350 and I probably used, should have used 500 and I've just scratched it a little bit but that'll, that'll come out okay. But essentially the demonstration of making a coin you can, uh, you can see yourself that these machines um, can actually do it. Um, but uh, be advised this is not a standard machine. I've modified it to be able to do this. Um, and I, I hope you've liked the demonstration today of making this coin and the preceding two videos to this where I put all the I put all this together in at Cam Jewelsmith. Um, so if you've liked it, please press like. Um, little, little red box down in that corner. That will take you to my YouTube station, uh, where there's now 148 videos, uh, which vary from CNC routers, uh, Mac 3, NC Studio, um, AtCam. The two videos before this is about AtCam, how to do this. Um, and I do a lot of wood turning and shop projects around here, cabinets and what have you. So I hope you join me again and uh, have a look at some of my other videos. And subscribe! That's always a really good thing. <laughs> so from me now, it's bye for now.